Let's take a look at what's new inside SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2018. So there have been many enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Electrical in 2018. However, here we're going to focus on the productivity enhancements, trying to reduce the amount of clicks it takes to do a particular job. So first off, we're going to have a look at some new section settings within our drawing styles. We can now control layers, line types and text styles at a project level rather than schematic by schematic. So as an example, if I wanted to add a layer here, I'm just going to call it revision and set the default color here to red. In previous releases, that would have only been created within the schematic that I was working on at the time. That's now been created at project level, so it's available in every single schematic and I can reinvoke that at any stage as well for other projects. If I go into my draw toolbar, I'm just going to create a revision cloud and then we'll select the cloud and conform it to that particular layer like so. The next update we see is to attributes. So an attribute is the text that displays next to a particular symbol. So here what we're seeing is the component mark, that's C1, C2 and C3 and T2 there as well. Uh, and then underneath that we're seeing the reference and we can display various other bits of information uh, next to our components and we call these attributes. Now let's say I wanted to change all of the component marks to a different color. In previous releases I'd have to select them individually and then manually change the color. I can speed that process up now quite significantly. Um, if I go into my configurations tool, I have a new attribute section where I can add in an attribute. Let's take the component mark and then from there I can just change that to a different color and it will update every single attribute of that type within our project. The next improvement we see is to location outlines. So location outlines are used to group components on a page to tell the whoever's viewing the document that they are in a different location uh, within the system that you're creating. We can now customize in more detail what's displayed on the component outline text. Again, if I go into configurations um, and then font, we can see the location outline font uh, and the settings for that. And we can actually now create a formula for that. So I'm going to have my formula be in the location mark plus a location description plus some text. So let's just type in a plus symbol and then hyphen fridge in text. OK, so now when I create my location outline, You can see it automatically brings that text through. The next update we see is to classifications. If I go into my library, I have my classifications manager there. Now in previous releases, these were all hard coded in, so you can change them and you can delete them and you can remove them. Now you can actually add your own in. Um, so if I go into connectors here, I've added my own one for DOD3899 connectors. When you add your own uh, classification, it takes on a slightly different icon to all the others so you can tell very quickly that they are user created rather than uh, system based. The reason we might choose to create classifications is to group components so we can find them easier. So if I go into my manufacturer parts manager tool here and I go to my filters, I can search based on everything within a particular classification. So let's just go ahead and search and it will find all of those connectors that have been attributed to that classification. Now we can filter this search down even further by putting in a search term here. So I'm gonna just search for a particular component. And it finds those components for me based on the, that search term. Now, if I go ahead and look at the properties for a particular component, it gives me lots of useful information. So I can see the height, the width, the depth of the component. Um, I can also see some other useful information such as circuit information for that particular component. We have a new option in here to add a data sheet to our properties. 
So this is quite useful because we can attach a PDF to that particular item and then that just gives us quick reference to see exactly what's going on with that component. Okay, if we switch to a, a different sheet here, you can see that we have a connector and from it we have several uh, wires coming out of it and the numbers for these wires have been generated by the system automatically. Now we have a couple of ways of displaying these wire numbers. Um, we're currently viewing the wire marks, but we can hide them and we can show equipotential labels instead, which just give us a little bit more information about that wire. Now just going back, um, let's say we wanted to change all of these wires to show the equipotential label, we'd have to select them all and change them manually. We can now do this within a single cl click. If I go into my uh, wire styles manager, I have a new toggle in here to display style with either equipotential marks or equipotential labels. If I choose equipotential labels, it will change all of those wires in one hit. Okay, so switching back to the PowerPoint, we now have the option to create uh, project level drawing styles. We've seen location outline customization available to us. We can control attributes at project level. We can create user defined classifications. We can attach user data for manufacture. We have various wire display options. And within this release, we will see full integration into PDM. Our next video is on SolidWorks PDM. Thank you.